vibe for Miss Duman Hook 2023. Let's give it up for them. Congratulations to our official top five finalists. And of course, to the rest of our ladies, congratulations to all of you. I have to admit, and I'm sure you will agree, all of them did an amazing job. Stunning and done such an amazing job, I swear. And you should be very, very proud of each and every one of yourselves. Thank you very much, guys. So, MJ, for the next segment, I think I can leave that in your capable hands. Sure, I'll, I'll go take this. I, I got this. Good luck. My mom, my mom raised me right. It's among the candidates also. All the best of luck. <laughs> Just enjoy your uh, Cebu Lechon for the meantime over there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pauline. And uh, aside from thanking Pauline, I would like to thank a couple of people in mind before I forget. For hair and makeup, I would like to thank Jinky Noel, Michael Sagaisai, and for the suit, MJC Boutique by Mario Jerome Cabigas and Lilia R. Diwata. I also would like to thank Ryan Chris for my suit, Georgia Bragais for my shoes, Team Eralista Worldwide is my best supporting team. GM and GM Rai, Coach KM and Coach Princess Faye Chavez, Team Intense Guardians, Paul and Cyril. And also, I would like to thank my managers, Michael Bristol, Andre David, GMA7 Sparkle Artist Center, thank you very much. Mom, Dad, Bubs, and thank you very much, God. And also my brother right there. Thanks, brother. All right. I think that's everybody. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our top five candidates will have to go through this final hurdle in the competition. Each of our top finalists will be answering one common question. And yes, now we begin with candidate number 10, Afea Meoy. Canada number 10, how are you feeling for the final Q&A? I am feeling very grateful because at last we have been here in the last segment of the pageant and hopefully I can get through that. Very, very nice to hear, Canada number 10. And I would like to say, ladies, similar to the top eight interview, okay, they're not listening anymore, but let me just say this. <laughs> Each of you will have 45 seconds to deliver your answer. And when the time is up, just like before, you will hear this sound ding exactly and anything said after the time is up shall not be considered by our judges and to ensure that the remaining candidates don't hear the common question and answer each of them are now wearing noise canceling headphones until their names are called to answer the final question okay yeah, let me just check this out guys can you hear me check one two mj or deliano follow me at <laughs> all right this should be good moving on to hand in the final question, may we call on the chairman of Miss Duman Hook 2023, Miss Laura S. Alviola. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. All right. I have here in my hand the final question. Duman Hook, ready to go? This is it. All right, it's the final question. Are you ready? I have to be, I have no choice. Here is your question. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hoog 2023, what would it be and why? Should you pardon the question? If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Doman Hook 2023, what would it be and why? You know, ladies and gentlemen, I have juggled sports and pageantry. And in between, I found the beauty of disciplining myself. And to remember how important it is to be authentic of yourself. If there would be one thing that I would try to leave here in Dumanhog and to the people of Dumanhog is to dare to be different. Because in life, we may not be liked and we may not be loved. But we have to stand up for ourselves, to stand up for a lot of people, and to dare to be different. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Candidate number five. Ten. Sorry, ten number ten. All right. Moving on. We shall be moving on to the next candidate, who will be candidate number five. Micaela Batausa. Hello, candidate number five. How are you feeling tonight? Hello. And are you ready for the final Q&A? Yes, I am ready and I'm feeling so grateful right now. Thank you so much. All right, now we shall proceed here is the final question and answer. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hook 2023, what would it be and why? I will repeat. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hook 2023, what would it be and why? One legacy that I would um, remain here in Ms. Zumanog is my quality as a candidate. I am a risk taker and I am encouraging everyone to do the same. And you always remember that you didn't have to feed into someone else's mold. You have to be in the, in the greatness. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number five. All right, guys, we have three more candidates left for the final Q&A. Shall I call on candidate number... 11, Leia Rojas. Hello, candidate number 11. How are you feeling for the final Q&A? I am very grateful to be top five. Very much amazing. All right, this is the final Q&A. Are you ready? I am definitely ready. Here is your question. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hoog 2023, what would it be and why? I will repeat. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hoog 2023, what would it be and why? Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. If I were to leave a, leg a lesson legacy that is to lead by an example, to not fear failure. Joining Miss Dumanhog, I had learned to value myself and give importance in believing in myself. As what I've mentioned earlier, actually, I wanted to share with you guys my story for you to be inspired that no matter what happened, always believe in yourself. And I stand here tonight very ready to be your next Miss Dumanhog. And starting by tomorrow morning, I am ready to serve Dumanhog with all of my heart. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number 11. Moving on, we shall call on stage candidate number nine. Hello, candidate number nine, how are you feeling for tonight? I'm feeling nervous, but I can make it. Awesome, that's awesome to hear. Are you ready for your final Q&A? Yes, I am. All right, here is the final question. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hook 2023, what would it be and why? And I will repeat this one more time. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Doom and Hook 2023, what would it be and why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You have seen my advocacy video, which focuses on the people who experience discrimination. So I stand here because of the purpose that if I could win the title as your Miss Dumanog 2023, I will leave a legacy which we are able to unite and make an organization to empower every young individuals, most especially the Dumanoganon or the young individuals who live in Dumanog, that they can do whatever we do tonight because you are truly beautiful within yourself and I can say to everyone that 
To be empowered is to be true to yourself and be the catalyst of change for the next generation. Thank you! Candidate number nine, ladies and gentlemen. And then now, the very final candidate moving on to candidate number two. Liza Corazon Leggett. Miss Liza, this is the final Q&A and you are the last candidate. How are you feeling? Um, ever since I was being the last to be called to be part of the top five, I felt overwhelmed, nervous, and ecstatic at the same time. I really never believe it to be um, on the top five because every candidate that was on the top eight deserve it. However, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to my Barangay Loocanon and to every Dumano gear. We really appreciate your patience and I hope you enjoy the event so far. Oh, very heartfelt message there. Thank you very much for that. But we shall move on to the final question. Are you ready? Yes. Here is your question. I will repeat this twice. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hoog 2023, what would it be and why? One more time. If you could leave a lasting legacy during your reign as Miss Duman Hook 2023, what would it be and why? Thank you for the question. So you see, as an official candidate of every pageant competition, it is not easy. There are a lot of discrimination and criticisms that you will face all throughout your journey. However, if I were to leave a legacy, I just want to say to all youth out there that just to be what you want to be. Because you see, it might not be easy, but if you really want to achieve it, then just do it because it will always be what it is. Because every day we learn, but it's just a matter of how we pursue it. Thank you and have a great evening. Thank you very much, candidate number two. All right, that will be our top five candidates for the top five for Ms. Duman Hook 2023.